In this video, I'm going to be going over Do Fish Matrix from January Long Challenge. So, the sample cases gives us the answers for n equals to 1 and n equals to 2. And what about n equals to 3? If you experiment for a while, then you will find that the answer for n equals to 3 is very hard to find. So, the first observation is that the number of elements covered by the ith row and the ith column is exactly 2 and minus 1. So, from the problem description, since each, each integer j has to appear in the ith row and the ith column, then all 2 and minus 1 elements have to be unique. Second observation is that for each j in this range, the rows and columns which contain j have to cover exactly n elements in the main diagonal. So, for example, if you take the sample case, these elements are the elements from the main diagonal. And if we look at j equals to 1, we see that the rows and columns with 1 cover both of these. If we look at j equals to 2, the row and column which contains 2 also covers two, uh, exactly 2 of the main diagonal elements. And for j equals to 3, the same thing. For j equals to 3, both of these are covered as well. The third observation is that a element covers one main diagonal element if it is on the main diagonal and two if it is not. So back to the sample case. Um, this element is not on the main diagonal, so it covers both this and this. However, the element which is on the main diagonal, which is three, this only covers one of the elements, which is itself. <laughs> Observation 4 is that there are at most n values of j from 1 to 2 n minus 1, such that the elements with value j cover an odd number of main diagonal elements. Because in order for and the, the elements with value j to cover an odd number of main diagonal elements, there must be a main diagonal element with value j. And this follows from observation 3. And since there are only n main diagonal elements, at most n values of j can co cover an odd number. And this leads us to observation 5, which is that all odd n greater than 1 are impossible. So from observation 2, we know that all values of j from 1 to 2 n minus 1 have to cover exactly n main diagonal elements. If n is odd, we know from observation 4 that at most n values of j can cover n. And 2n minus 1 is greater than n whenever n is greater than 1. That 2n minus 1 is greater than n whenever n is greater than 1. So it is impossible for all j to cover exactly n main diagonal elements whenever n is odd and greater than 1. So now we know that all odd n are impossible. Let's try to find the answer for n equals to 4. And it turns out that it does exist, and one example looks like this. So let's try to extend the answer for n equals to 4 to all even n. So for example, let's try n equals to 6. So first, let's put all of the ones in the main diagonal. So we put all the ones here. And then in the lower left half, which is this part, this part we place the values 
two, two, and and the upper right half. You place the values n plus one to two n minus one. So in the lower left half, we have n times n minus one divided by two cells, and you have to distribute it between n minus one values. Each value should have n divided by two cells. And each cell, and e each of those n divided by two cells for each value should not share rows or columns. As an example, you can for the cells in the lower half, a uh, lower left half of the matrix, you can distribute them to the values two to six like this. So for uh, value two, uh, this means that we have a value of two at row two and column one, and it's here. And then we also have another element with value two at row five and column three, which is here. So how do we find this distribution? This is actually a well-known problem uh, known as the round robin tournament. So you can simply follow the algorithm to generate a round robin tournament for a matrix.